What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to hit a Kouchigari. A Kouchigari is a inside minor foot sweep where I come through, and from here we start to focus on Kazushi, loading our opponent's weight over his foot. From here, once I load his weight on his foot, I simultaneously block said foot. Now the foot can't step out. From here, as my opponent's center of gravity keeps going up and over, he starts to fall over, okay? So that's the essential mechanic behind a Kouchigari. Let's look at a very practical way of hitting it in a no-gi context, which is gonna be from an underhook. Oftentimes, an underhook is gonna be the one of the best ties, I'm not the best tie, but one of the best ties to hit foot sweeps out of. Why? Because you have very good control over your opponent's center of gravity and mass. With an underhook, you can move an opponent back and forth better than you can, say, for example, a bicep tie, right? A bicep tie won't be able to control his center of gravity or his mass as much as I will with an underhook. There's more direct contact, okay? So I'm gonna go uh, here, I'm gonna go head to head with Coach Steven, I'm gonna club him with my rear hand, take his head offline, and shoot an underhook into place. As soon as I shoot the underhook into place, I'm gonna step one, step two, and I'm gonna start to threaten Coach Steven with a ukigoshi, a half hip throw, okay? Where I step, stab, and now from here, that's the kazushi that I was looking to get to start to load his weight onto the right foot. As I load his weight on the right foot, I'm gonna step, block it and now my underhook is going to continue the action of pressing forward and now he goes down and over and from there we've managed to hit the uh the coach guard let's look at it one more time i'm here head to head with coach steven i reach with my rear hand i club and i expose the underhook i step back i hit okigoshi start to step around and i catch off the same exact motion the foot as his center of, of gravity keeps going up and over the foot now that's one way of hitting it where I use an ukigoshi to get his weight off that uh, left foot and onto the right foot. Coach Steven has another very tricky method to hit it. Go ahead, Steven. So the way I like to hit this is I'm gonna rotate in front. And the reason it, it, I think it works well is uh, people's reaction is not what you would expect. So I get to my underhook. Typically, uh, for me, when I went hip to hip, guys would start to back out. And, and it, I wouldn't really, it'd be a little harder for me to get it. So I go hip to hip, and when they start to back out, I rotate my left foot toe to toe. And I go way out, like I'm circling around them. As I do this, I'm applying weight to that foot, and I finish by catching the same way as before. Very nice. I get to my underhook, I'm circling pocket to pocket, he's starting to square up with me change direction, step toe to toe, step deep, and I'll even hit him with my ribs and like pop my chest towards him. Pass it. Cover, I'll go one more. Here, here. Maybe I'm looking for a single up or an underhook. Oh. Hit, pass, finish. Guys, I think the crucial, uh, I, don't, I mean, I can feel it when he's doing it to me, but the crucial detail here is that Coach Steven is incorporating a misdirection, right? He's going right, and then he comes back left, and then he attacks my foot. Very sneaky setup, Steven. Uh, one more thing with that. A lot of times on an underhook, people will block. Block their head, and they'll start to square up. So I'm trying to circle. They square up. I can even do it from here. But I step in a, in a circle. I step in a circle and drop. Wait. Beautiful. You just have to make sure your arm stays slips free at the end. Very cool. I'm definitely going to be working that one into the repertoire. Okay? okay. Guys, Coach Steven coaches at Iron Fake Grappling. They have two locations, one at Bristol and one at Warwick. I've wrestled at both locations myself, and I've found a lot of very helpful technical development at both schools. I'm going to put the link in my bio to both their YouTube channel and to their Google Maps business so you can find them and start learning from them yourself. Thanks so much for being here, Steven. Appreciate it.